Pisces, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late October into early November 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get our sword down right over here and we're going to get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's going on for the lovely Piscean people. I hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic my friends. You get to have your cards read by Gladiator Kyle this weekend right tis the season i know pisces love costumes maybe that's why i like it too but let's get it going here my gods we're just going to start you off with this first card then we'll get into the full reading itself and at the very end i'll pull you a bonus card from the shadow land tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on which is always interesting but let's get it going here let's rock and see what we got for pisces what do you got for us my gods as we move into one of the best times of year if you ask me what's up with pisces please and thank you. There it is. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Here's that high priestess energy, which is a power card for the Pisceans. And it makes sense, especially with the reading I had for you last week. Now, this is an oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. So that's not literally the high priestess. I just feel like she embodies that same sort of energy. Now, before we fully go into it, this could be very good. If you're new here, I'll be speaking about the October subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk about this card so we see this older divine feminine figure she's standing in front of the crystal ball there is a key within the crystal ball and a lockbox that's right next to her so to me this card does allude to somebody that has the key to some very specific knowledge or hidden knowledge secret knowledge similar to the high priestess because it's psychic it's intuitive now that is a piscean card that's a piscean energy so just know for a lot of pisceans you might be extra sensitive in this time picking up the energies of other people picking up the energies of places various things so make sure you're protecting your energy in this time when this high priestess energy is showing up but since it's a pisces reading this also does speak about you leaning into your power and the things that make you you what makes you special so this energy bodes very well for all of us pisceans when we start the reading off with this your intuition could be telling you something as well okay if this isn't some sort of like energetic link with a person like maybe intuitively you have a gut feeling about something okay whether it's good bad or indifferent it's very powerful here but let's get into tarot and i always say that first card it doesn't make or break the reading it's just a footnote let's get you three cards in the upright then we'll get into the intuitive juiciness here so let's shuffle it up and see what we got for the pisceans and while we get the deck ready let's talk about last week's reading super positive it was titled a serious win and i titled it that because we had like all the heavy hitters of positive cards so for a lot of you i hope things have been going well things have been going your way and the energy did look good for that even if you've been going through struggles or what have you there was a lot of silver lining in last week's reading that everything will be okay so we're going to hope to keep some optimism going here. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, right? Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're connected to. Let's get it going, though. Let's get three cards out for the Pisceans. There's been so much tower energy for Pisces, too. I just, I need to repeat that because it's been happening for, like, weeks now where there's been lots and lots of towers. Okay, we're starting something very, very fast here. Like, something comes in hot. Something comes in... I want to say like a bat out of hell type energy, but we'll see. I mean, we're just starting fast. We'll see how it all plays. But that Knight of Swords is coming in hot. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles slowing it down. So we have a lot of people showing up here, my friends. So remember what I said about that High Priestess energy. You could be feeling the energy of different people, different situations. Keep that in mind, especially when we get a lot of court cards showing up in the spread. What do we have? Thank you all core cards okay so we have the king of swords here a lot of sword energy for the pisceans and we're gonna have to sort through this my friends there are so many people in our energy this week what's going on here so let's go through i'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes and we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff so first look first glance once again i'll mention it every single card is a court card so these could be representing people in your life and it could be various different situations notice that two of them are of the sword suit that's air so that could be in the realm of communication also the realm of the mind so there could be something going on with somebody's thought process we also have pentacles which is very earthy and 
work and money and monetary. So we have a little mixture of internal and, and external with the pentacles. So we're really going to want to dive deeper on all of it momentarily. But let's go one by one. Because even though there's a lot of similarities, there could be a lot of nuances as well. But all these different people showing up, just please protect your energy in this time. There's that extra sensitivity, and I feel like I keep needing to mention it. But position number one, we have the Knight of Swords, one of the fastest moving cards in the whole entire deck. It is blasting towards something like a rocket. Like I said, something or someone could be coming in very quickly. And we'll see what happens when we get down to the clarifier. There's determination. This night in particular, if it's not speaking about action or an energy moving towards you very quickly, to me, it can be combative sometimes. So just know that, especially with the sword suit. They're very serious. Intellectual, yes, but they can be a little combative. So there could be a little warning with this knight of swords, depending on what the clarifier is with it. But it is action. It is speed. It is something blasting off. So somewhat similar to that tower energy that I've been saying, like something that comes in quick, suddenly surprising. So we'll see how it all plays out. But moving to the center, we have the beautiful Queen of Pentacles. Now, she reminds me very much of like an Empress energy. So the Empress light. This could be an Earth sign you're linked to. So once again, we have air signs. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now we have Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Doesn't have to be that sign, though. No. The Queen of Pentacles is someone about their business. So in this time, you could have a big focus on your monetary, your work, you know, the cheddar, the green, the greenbacks, whatever you want to call it, right? Pound sterling. When this shows up, it's like a big focus on the material. Now, the beautiful thing about her is she is a card of blessing, similar to the Empress. Beautiful, nurturing, divine, feminine energy. So this could speak of blessings coming into your life. But one thing I need to say about her energy is that she could be sturdy and stubborn sometimes. So that's something to watch out for, especially sandwiched in between two sword cards, because when we look at how the energy swoops across, once I get her back into her rightful place, it's like we're starting with a bang, and then this energy is like a speed block. So it's like there could be like a problem or a situation or just a bump in the road leading, right? Because remember, the knight matures into the king eventually. Let's keep moving, though. I don't want to get too caught up in that just yet. On the back end, we have the king of swords. Plan based, for sure. So if this is an air sign energy, it could represent authority figures. It could represent divine masculine figures. When we have the king of swords, extremely intellectual. So for some Pisceans with all this sword energy... Something could be on the mind or your intellect could be firing on all cylinders. Maybe you're thirsting for some knowledge, especially with that high priestess we saw. But some things I think of with this King of Swords is he's very determined and intelligent, but he is strategy based. He is plan based. So maybe there is someone strategizing or planning something here for sure. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're planning your wife out, planning out how to fix a situation. It could be a whole bunch of different things. But as with the queen, this king is very serious. So we did have a stern, serious energy last week, and it's still showing up here. Okay, so, but I can't shake the feeling that even though this queen of pentacles can represent blessings and goodness and abundance and all that beautiful stuff, that there's like a little hiccup in the energy or there's like a bump in the road or a roadblock, some sort of blockage. So I want to dive deeper on all of it, Pisces. Let's jump in and clarify. There's so many people here. So let's shuffle it up one time here. And yes, my friends, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Knight of Swords. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Pisces, Drop it right down in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right. Knight of Swords. What's this action? What is this movement that is coming towards you, my friends? Three of Wands. Yeah, you. whatever this is, you manifested it. Okay, whatever this, uh, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, whether it's an energy, whatever it is, you brought it. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a problematic thing. But with the Three of Wands, it's like, all right, you waited for this. like, Or you've been waiting on this, and now it's... It's finally coming your way. So whether this is, once again, a person, 
or a situation or whatever it might be. It's like, here it comes. All right, well, you asked for it. You're going to get it or you wanted it. Here it comes or here they come. That's just the vibe I'm picking up. Now, the three of wands is also a card of distance. It's also a card of travel. So there are big things linking to travel and distance here for a lot of Pisceans as well. So maybe you're going to be gearing up for a road trip of some sort. But the three of wands to me, that ship is coming in and it's on its way. So whatever it is, you asked for it, you got it. Here they come or here it comes and it's showing up. So we'll see if there's any speed bumps in the road. But that's just what this tells me, Pisces. And once again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. You could claim this energy. If there's something you've been purposely manifesting or something you've been purposely wanting, claim this energy. Because right here is a clear indicator from spirit that like it's in motion, right? This is at least energetically in motion. Like you asked for it, you're going to get it. Let's see how it plays out as we go through the rest of the reading. Once again, I feel like that could be a very good thing. That could be a very positive thing. Trust me, I'm a gladiator. I know these things. Let's see what's up with that Queen of Pentacles, Pisces. I feel like I need to give it one more quick little shuffle for her. Let's see. Let's shuffle it one more time real quick for the Queen. Where's that Queen here, please? Oh, I got to fix my Grieve. There we go. <laughs> so why is that Queen of Pentacles here for Pisces, please? Thank you. Six cups, huh? Someone looking on the past with like rose colored glasses or very fondly, like this could be very nice. Six of cups does represent a possible soul connection. So for some of you, if this is a person that you may have manifested, they're possibly coming in here. And it doesn't just have to be romantic. This could be a friend or a family member you haven't talked to for a long time. But the six of cups to me is someone taking a walk down memory lane. And when I see this queen of pentacles, and this Six of Cups, to me, it's like someone like, oh, all right, let me think. Thinking about the past, thinking about things that have happened, like taking that trip down memory lane. So just know for a lot of Pisces, we might be stuck in the head a little more than usual, like thinking back on the past, the good, the bad, the indifferent. There's a big possibility for that. But one thing I, I must mention, must mention it, is that with the way this energy leads, remember I said this could feel like a little speed bump. Don't let your past dictate your future. Don't let things that have already happened dictate how you proceed. Now, yes, we take lessons from the past, but I feel like I need to give that message. Like, yes, this energy is coming towards you. It's moving towards you very quickly. But don't let every single thing, like, yeah, always remember the past, but maybe shift your approach, shift your perspective. That's something spirit could be saying for sure. If not, this is a very near and dear type of energy here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This could be a mother figure showing up in your energy as well mother child or just some sort of relation like that that's a big possibility here so we have all these different things showing up lots of people i said so for a lot of piscines you could be very popular in this time or more popular than you usually are when we have soul connections all these different court cards energies moving towards you it's like really stacking up and i don't necessarily feel like it's a bad thing let's move in on that king of swords then after that we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow card Yeah, I'd, I'd, I would hate, I would hate for this energy in the middle, like somebody to like not take advantage of what's coming to them, because there's lots of good things moving towards this person, but I would hate for them to not take advantage of it because they're, they have cold feet. I feel like I need to give that message, Pisces. Move, move into the future boldly. I feel like I need to give that as well. Take it if it hits. Let's see why that King of Swords is here. Move into the future boldly. Why is that King of Swords in the mix? Thank you. Chariot. Yeah, and you will. And you will. And you have, might have multiple things or multiple people coming at you here with this Chariot in the upright. So we have the two, two of the fastest cards in the deck both here. Like two of the fast. It goes Chariot, Knight of Swords. They're the quickest ones. And we started the reading and ended the main part of the spread with it. Now, the Chariot could represent a Cancerian here. Doesn't always have to be, but it is that action card. So with that King of Swords, it's like, okay, well, I thought I wanted it. Then I had some cold feet. Now I'm going to make it happen. So there is a ton of powerful explosive action around you that can be had. So for a lot of Pisceans in this time, you can make big changes in personal relationships, big changes in your personal life. And there is the energy supporting you to make these happen. So just know that if there's things you're wanting to do, things you want, like there's energy supporting you switching things up. 
okay, in a very, very powerful way, but I really love this. So it's like, okay, well, yeah, I thought I was going to do this, then I thought twice, but now I've decided. So for some of you, this could be a decision, a final decision to do something or take an action or take a leap of faith. That's a big possibility here on the back end for sure, because I do feel like a maturation of the energy. These are similar, okay? So where we have one person waiting, we have another person deciding to act. Like this one's waiting, this one's deciding to act. So whether that's you in two different modes across the whole different story, just take it however it hits, Pisces. But once again, I will say this, looking at the whole ball of wax, this reading tells me that for a lot of us Pisceans, the energy is very magnetic in this time. And I saw that for the Capricorns this week as well. It's even stronger for the Pisceans. You have very magnetic energy about you where people and things and a lot of things that you've been creating consciously and subconsciously could be coming towards you quick. So sift through them however you must. But let's go through and do a quick recap, then we'll get into the shadow card. If you kindly look in the box here, position number one, we have the Knight of Swords with the Three of Wands. It's like, all right, well, you created it, you manifested it, it's coming now, like this person or this energy, whatever it is, you won't have to wait much longer. Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But there is somebody waiting on it. Uh, big energies of travel and distance. So if you've been wanting to plan a trip or a road trip, it's all over the place. Do it. Take the plunge. In the center, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Cups in the upright. Someone taking a walk down memory lane. So this is interesting. Whereas on the ends, we have so much action and movement. This one is kind of stuck in their ways, stuck in their past. Now, this could be a very near and dear connection showing up here in the spread as well. A soul tie, soul connection blessings and all that stuff but don't let the past dictate your future don't let past mistakes dictate where you go and what you do okay on the back end we have the king of swords with the chariot and the upright it's like okay should i wait or should i make the move it's like all right well i'm not waiting anymore i'm taking this action so there's tons of powerful explosive action all over the place and it's magnetic to the piscean so this is someone deciding to make a move make a change or do something so please take a screenshot Gonna see what's up here, Pisces. Let's get you a shadow card, my guides. What's in the shadows for the Pisceans? And as you already know, I, I love to end off every reading with a shadow card. I feel like it's a nice thing to do just to see whether it's something within you. Maybe it's something you don't quite see. Doesn't always have to be a challenge, but let's see what's in the shadows for Pisces, please. Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. My beautiful channel members help me pick out the costumes this week and having some nice bonus readings in there. So feel free to join us. Obviously, no pressure, but let's get a shadow card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, here's that little bit of skepticism here because we have the Nine of Wands showing up as the shadow card. And the Wounded Warrior, similar to what we've been seeing here, like someone in the memory lane, someone who's been through some things. This is someone that's been through some tough times and they don't want to go through it again. So the shadow card is kind of linking into what we saw here in the middle. Yes, it's a natural human thing to feel protective or to not make the same mistakes over and over again. We all go through those things and feelings. But if sometimes if you want to make progress, you got to take a leap or you got to let those gates down. You got to let those walls down. The Nine of Wands can sometimes like put blockages up. So make sure in this time you're not blocking out your blessings and abundance when this card is here. Be skeptical, be protective and be safe, but don't put up permanent walls. Okay, like that, I feel like that's the main advice here, Pisces. So my friends, that is what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the October subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the September subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this week's fire and air readings. But for October, I'll be going back to one of the classics. I'll be giving away two copies of the Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of the most beautiful decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things, as always, my friends, first. You must be subscribed. Second, let me know down in the comments if there's a zodiac sign that you clash with. If so, which signs do you kind of bump heads with? You'll be entered to win, and at the end of October, your name will be announced in the community tab, my friends. As always, much love, and I'll see you next time.